right, so here we are with the game called Baseball Stars for the Nintendo Entertainment System. What I think is the best baseball game ever made for the N Nintendo, and one of the better games all time. I had a lot of fun playing this game when I was younger, and I wanted to share it with people that maybe weren't around when this game was made, <laughs> or when the 8-bit Nintendo wasn't a thing. So, what I have done is there's a way to make a whole bunch of different kinds of teams for this game. You can make normal teams, and some powered-up teams, and some female teams, and some powered-up female teams. But what I'm going to do is something called a Let's Play Challenge that is on the game facts for this game. And what you do is you take just a normal team that you can make, and you put it in a league against certain teams, and the goal is to, at the end of it, make your team strong enough to beat the best team that the computer has as a default team. Now, my team that I have constructed for this challenge is called the Twitch Titans, and that's why they have a T for their logo. And we're going to take a quick look at them, because they're not great, and your team starting out won't be great. That's kind of the idea. Uh, I got two starting pitchers, my lefty, who has an 84 max, which is really high, actually. Um, the best perfect player you can get would be a 90. You've got six, six categories down there, and the max for each is 15. My second pitcher is a 79 overall. He's not bad, but you can see their current status not very powered up. I've got two middle relievers, this one and this one. And not great. And my closer, who's not too bad for a startup guy. Um, here's my center fielder. And if you're wondering why I have these players named a certain way, it's so that I can put them in the right position. And I know the first number is hitting, second number is batting, running, and then defense. So I can get an idea where I want to put them in the batting order. And then I can change their names later. But just give me an idea who can move, who can hit a little bit. These guys with just numbers are going to be my bench players, because they're just not good enough on defense to play. Let's see, this is a rookie that I hired in a previous video just to show you that you can fire and hire players and get female players. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get into the game. And you set up the league with five, well, six teams total, your team and then five others. And the five other the teams are the SNK Crushers, the Lovely Ladies, the Brave Warriors, the Ninja Black Sox, and the American Dreams. And each one of these computer teams has a theme behind them. The SNK Crushers are named after the people who made this game. SNK and the players' names, I would assume, are the programmers, or just some people that had something to do with creating this game or the company. The Lovely Ladies is an all-female team with high prestige. The Brave Warriors are going to be names of famous warriors in history. The Ninja Black Sox are a team of Japanese players. Um, I, th I think they're named after maybe Samurais, and some of them are named after some star baseball players. And the American Dreams are named after some of the best baseball players for American baseball. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my first game underway. And it's SNK Crushers versus the Twitch Titans. You can see their team, and my team, I want to make sure I got everybody where I want them. Got two fast guys, my two hitters. I got a bench player in there in left field. We're going to change that. Actually, I got to sub that guy in. I'm hitting the wrong button. My apologies. Player change. That's what I need. And I need left fielder. No, I just hired that left fielder and they cannot hit at all. But they can play defense, which... That's what I was looking for. I made a defensive team for a reason. I'm gonna put the wrong person in. There we go. A center fielder that can kind of hit. And is a lefty. I want them up here. Field, second base, right field, center field, 
catcher, first base, third base. Okay. Now I'm ready to go. And the idea here is to just obviously beat the other team by any means necessary. So, my team's not that great. They're not going to be um, hitting the ball out of the park that much, if at all. And uh, so I gotta be smart with my base running. I can't let up a lot of runs on defense. That's why I went with a defensive team first. And I think when you're starting out, you want good defense pretty much all along your infield. You can cheat a bit at first base and at catcher to start off with. But sooner or later, you're going to have to have those... Oh, I was able to dive and make the catch. Nice play by my third baseman. But you need strong defense at third base and shortstop so they can throw the ball across the diamond and make those plays at first base. Your second baseman needs to be pretty rangy too. But your first baseman, you can get away with them being not so great. As long as they're a decent enough hitter, you can get away with it. You're going to want some speed on your team so you can do just that. Run out those kind of hits and steal some bases to get in scoring position. I took a strike there for a reason. So now I don't hit into a double play. Hopefully. I could still do it if I don't run my bases correctly. But anyway, um... So welcome if you're here. I got, I'm showing one viewer so far. Welcome aboard. And, um... Yeah, I'm Ben Benu. They're gonna go for the four, so I'm gonna take third base. And welcome to the channel. And the reason why I think... Out of all the games, this is the best. And there's a nice hit for runs and extra bases. But one of the reasons why I think this is one of the best games ever made for the Nintendo... I don't think he's fast enough to get home from here, but... We'll try it. And the ballpark home run! How about that? It won't count as a home run in his stats, but... More importantly, I have two runs on the board. I don't think that I'm making that one. Nope. But, it's customization. A lot of people think that's a newer development that, um, you know, maybe more modern era games had customization. I believe this is the only Nintendo game, at least baseball anyway, where you could customize your team. You can name your team whatever you want. The limitation is you have only 16 characters total. Eight on a top line and eight on a bottom. You can name all of your players, um, but you only have six characters to use, so there's a limitation there. There's lady players in the team, on teams you can get, and they look different on the field, and they pitch differently. And I think the gameplay is really, it's, it's simple, but effective. Um, you know, just really pick up and play. It's fun. It's challenging. You know, it, it feels good to be a good team with your team that struggled to begin, to begin with. To organically grow your team. Now, there are cheat codes where you can start out with a more powered up team. It makes it a lot easier to start off with because you'll have very good players that are very powered up. And you'll be able to crush just about anybody you want. There's my female player. I think I might try to have her bunch. She missed. Just barely fast enough to make it. She managed to make contact, but since she's 0-0 zero zero overall, she's not that good at hitting the ball. <laughs> And here comes my pitcher. There's no designated hitter in this game, so your pitchers do hit. And they have their own hitting stats as well. It was two out, so I made that runner go. So I'm up two to nothing at the top of the third. And I got a ground ball here. That's why it's important to have a good second baseman, because a slow one would not make that play. It's my shortstop, and that's why you want range there, because I don't think my left fielder was fast enough to get to that ball. And your pitcher, this one, I made a good defensive team to start off with, so I, that pitcher at least has some decent defense. You can see it keeps live stats during the season. This guy was one for one, so he's batting a thousand. 
<laughs> I kind of cheated on that swing, but it's a hit. That's all that matters. He's two for two. He's going to steal this base. There we go. So yeah, sometimes I'll just... Even though I could have, you know, swung at that pitch, I took it because I'm trying to steal a base to get a guy in scoring position and keep out of a double play. That's always a good idea. I think you can catch that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Well, so much for keeping out of the double play, huh? I ran my guy, and I didn't send him back quick enough, and I got caught. I didn't know their shortstop would be fast enough. Sometimes this team on defense that I'm playing against, the Crushers, are so bad, they will drop a ball every once in a while, but I didn't get lucky there. Vince is a speedy center fielder. Made the play with the shortstop. It's been so long since I've played this game, it's, uh... There's a couple of things to learn about how they give you the control of your players. Sometimes they don't give you the person you think. And that's exactly why I have a decent left fielder, the one that can't hit. Because they can play defense and make a catch like that. But sometimes you think, hey, that's my first baseman's ball, and they'll say, no, the first baseman's covering first base, you should be using your second baseman. And there's no rhyme or reason to it, you just have to get used to the way the game does it. Some other things, um, infielders can dive and jump for, for a ball, but outfielders can only jump, they can't dive. What the outfielders can do is on a home run ball, they can climb the wall and try to rob the home run, and I have done that before on video. Uh, I was doing a proof... I, yeah, I made a mistake. I tried to steal a base with a guy that was too slow, and they, they caught me in a rundown. That was silly. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing, and here I get a hit after that, so it was not needed to do so anyway. What I was talking about earlier... I forgot, actually. <laughs> Almost got it. Oh, yes. Um, in a previous video, I uh, actually recorded myself catching a home run off of the other team. Oh. I tried to... They're going to say I didn't tag up. Are you serious? Oh, boy. Okay, if you say so. So, yeah, I climbed up the wall on a home run that was very barely clearing the fence, and my outfielder was just able to time it perfectly enough and climb up the wall to rob it. And I've got, I got this guy. Had them make a base running error. So, it, it's, it's a rare feat because, you know, the home run has to just barely clear the wall. You have to have an outfielder that's fast enough to get back to the ball and then cl have time to climb up the wall. And uh, I just I just managed to catch it live. Um, I have that stored on my YouTube channel, recorded if somebody wants to watch what a home run, robbing somebody of a home run looks like. Because I don't know when it will happen again. So, batting is pretty simple, you just swing the A button, if you want to swing at the ball. And you can bunt in this game, you just tap the A button, and you can see I'm bunting. You can control the angle of the bunt by just how much or how little you tap it. And then you can move your player around to influence the bunt as well. Oh, but you have to hit the ball, and I struck out. Jesus. That uh, pitcher they have, Shacho, is pretty good. He's got good curveballs, which that's what he was using against me. To throw the ball to any base is the A button and the direction of the base um, as you're looking at the field. So to throw the ball to first base, you can just simply hit the A button or right and the A button. Up and the A button is second base, left and A button is third base, and down the A button is home plate. Having a 
good shortstop makes so much difference. You, you have to have a strong shortstop in your defense if, you, if you're going to have a chance. They just save you so many hits that say, obviously help save runs. So, now they're going to bring in a relief pitcher. That's good news for me, because generally these guys are a little easier to hit. So yes, I sent my man, and he was able to get there fast enough. Running base is, is done with the B button. You hit B and the direction of the base you want to run to. You can take a lead by hitting B and the direction you want to run to, the base you want to run to. Ooh, perfect hit. Hit and run. That should score a run. Get my guy to third base. And sometimes you can mess with the AI on the bases. I don't. I try not to cheese that too much. But will he catch that? No, that drops. And you can run back to a base by pressing A and the base you want to run back to. You can s completely stop on the bases by just hitting the A button. And on defense, that's a hit. Oh, I'm putting some good hits together now. On defense, if you want to run to the base and tag it rather than throw to the ball to the base, so maybe you, you're right next to the base, like the first baseman fields a ground ball, and you don't want to wait for the other defender to get there because it would take too long. You could run to the base you want with the ball. Oh! I tried to get out of the way of the defender and I got in my own way instead. Well, running into outs. Um, you can run on defense to the base by pressing B. Um, just pressing the B button will get you to first base, or you B into the right. B and up is to run to second base. B into the left is to run to third base. And B and down is to run to home plate if you want to try to tag those bases. You can hit players with pitches in this game, and you can be hit by them. And, uh, the bean... The beaning animation, what they call a bean ball if you hit a player, is a uh, kind of funny. And obviously you'll get a free free base on that when you get hit. There are no injuries in this game. That's one thing that's kind of missing. But a lot of games of this era didn't do that. Um, one exception would be a game called Base Wars, where part of the whole idea was a way to win was to beat enough of the robots on the other team so that they couldn't feel the team anymore. That was a fun game that I also have. It... I've, I've played it again since my youthful days, and it's not as good as I remember it. The graphics weren't as good. Hello, I got another viewer. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Ben's Corner. I'm playing some... Baseball stars with a Let's Play Challenge, where I take a freshly created team into a league and try to eventually take on and beat the best team in the game. But this is game one of the season. And I'm thinking, since customization was something in this game... Oh, struck out. My team is called the Twitch Titans. And I was thinking that, you know, maybe since I can name the players on my team, I might name them after some of my Twitch followers, if they're interested. But I only have six characters used for names, so you're gonna have to keep that in mind. It's a nice play by my second baseman. It looks like I'm well on my way to my first victory of the season. Nice hit to my third baseman, but they're good on defense. So welcome to the channel. I hope you like old school gaming. I'm going to feature some other old-school gems that I like from this 8-bit NES era, and then I may also, at some point, include Super Nintendo games that I really enjoyed when I was younger. My Nintendo, my 8-bit system that is over 30 years old, still works. Ooh, got it over the shortstop's head. It still works. Every year, I pull it out of storage and plug it in just to make sure it still works. It still does. I have two working joysticks for it still, or game pads. 
And uh, all the games that I have, all the cartridges, still work. Even the ones that have battery backups, like Baseball Stars, it still saves data. And so does uh, Tecmo Super Bowl, another really fun game that I love playing a lot. That game, so many fun memories with that game, with my cousin over the summer playing, just playing the game till like the early hours of the morning. Laughing our heads off at the fumbles and how Christian Okoye would just run over everybody. Oh, what fun. Oh. And of course we play this game too. Lots of fun memories. So many hours played on this game and Tech Mobile and several others. Woo! That's gonna drop and that's gonna be a run. And there is the slaughter rule in this game. If I s manage to score 10 runs and get a 10 run lead, I'll just say that, not just 10 runs. Yeah, I had a force, didn't have a choice there. But if I score a 10 run lead against. Go ahead and go with the pinch hitter here. This person has the best chance. Four, five, five, six. That's four hitting, five batting, five running. My pitcher's getting tired near the end of the game. And pitchers do tire out. They have a stamina rating. And the higher the stamina, the more pitches they can throw. Which in theory would let them throw more innings, but you're letting up a lot of hits. Or you walk a lot of batters and you throw a lot of pitches. You're gonna get tired faster. Will that drop? It will. Okay, so that was a good idea to bring in the pinch hitter. So I'm one run away. I picked up another follower, thank you! Alright, nice. Thank you, thank you for the follow. And that's a base hit. Alright, can I get that run in? I don't think so. It's going to take one more hit, and since I'm the home team, I would automatically have the 10 run lead and end this game early, a little early, by slaughter rule. Oh my gosh! That might do it! That might do it! Slaughter rule, 10 run, 10 run limit, I win in early in the 8th inning. Oh boy. So there's my first win. I wonder how much money I'm going to get it. Probably not much, because the SNK Crushers are not a very popular team. And my team is just starting, and they're not very popular either, so not a lot of prestige to bring fans in. You see, I won 26000 That's pretty low. Um, so, the money in this game that you win when you play games... Um, let me show you. You team, go into your team... And you'll see contract numbers up in the upper right-hand side of the screen. You see $16,000 for my pitcher. Well, I just won $26,000, so I can buy his contract. I'll get anywhere from 1 to 6 points to put in any category that I choose to power up my player. So, um, my pitcher's starting off, as long as they have decent stamina, Everything else doesn't really matter. I mean, you do want a little bit of speed and curves so you can, you know, pitch more effectively. But as long as they can give you innings and keep yourself from having to pitch your middle relievers, that's really all you're looking for. What you're trying to boost first are the defensive ratings and running ratings of your players. Now, my shortstop, I think, is good enough for now. Ten is good for uh, good enough to steal bases against most of the catchers in this game and his defense is good enough third base same thing fast enough defense is good enough left field definitely a problem here she can't hit she can't run so i think and she's also the one of the cheaper players at a 5000 salary so i think i'm going to start here at one point i'm going to give that into prestige because i believe you know getting more money Every time I power up a player, I usually put one of the points in prestige, just because I need more money. And I want to get her fast. Okay, so, got 
one more power up. Um, let's have her make contact at least, so maybe she can run out an infield hit. Most people would say to go ahead and power up the shortstop, but since my my shortstop's already good enough, I mean, yeah, he could be a better hitter, but I'm just trying to make the team overall better, so now this left fielder can play very good defense and can also run, so that equals more uh, infield base hits against this poor team, and, um, you know, putting the ball in play is obviously more important. Um, eventually I'll want to put some power into my power hitters. I only have, like, six as power. That's not enough to usually hit a home run. You start hitting home runs pretty consistently when you have about a 10 or an 11 for power. So, um, one of my wins, I'm definitely going to want to do that. You know what? I might play... Uh, it didn't take even... An, I know, it's only 30 minutes. I might play a second game. So, I'm going to hop over to Twitch real quick and update the notice and say, Hey, I'm going to play another game real quick, so let me go ahead and do that. Um, the screen might go a little wonky for a minute, so give me, give me a second. have many followers, and that that's fine by me. I don't I don't mind that at all. Um, I'm doing this for fun, and uh, I didn't expect to get that many followers or to you know some people. Oh, you only have the, so few followers. Well, I don't I don't care how few I have. Every one that I have is one more than I had before, and I'm doing this for my own personal fun. And if other people can enjoy it too, and I can maybe turn people on to some great games that maybe they didn't know were around, then fine. That's that's what I'm here to do. I'm, I'm here because I love video games. I didn't think I could do this. I didn't think my computer had enough power to stream and record at the same time. And on <laughs> newer games, it, it definitely does not. That's the limitations of a 9 or 10 year old computer, which I'm dealing with, and uh... Hopefully, I'll be able to improve that at some point uh, in the near future. And, uh, so that's why I'm streaming Nintendo. I will see if there's some PC games that I like to play that I could stream here, potentially. I'll do some uh, proof of concepts on that in the near future. But right now, I just wanted to share some things that I love. And Baseball Stars, as I say, I think is the best baseball game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. There are other really good ones. I like the Bases Loaded series. I have what I think is a world-exclusive trick for that game. It's not really a code. Um, it's it's a play uh, gameplay strategy that you can use. Um, and I don't want to give it away. I was waiting until maybe I hit the 50 follower mark because I want to broadcast this live on you know, live, in session, so people can see the code work, or the trick work in person. I'm almost halfway there, and it's only been a couple days that I've really started doing anything on Twitch, so I'm really excited about that. I'm, you know, 24 followers. I, I didn't think I'd even have one. So thank you so much for that. On YouTube, you can follow me there. I do Madden franchise content, and I've started adding some of that to Twitch. It's uh, my what I call my housekeeping episodes will ap appear live on Twitch where I manage my team, go over the strategies, and look at the other teams that I'm playing against. Unfortunately, gameplay I can't do live right now with my computer, so I record that offline, up upload those games to YouTube. 
and um, you can follow, find a link to that in my profile. You can follow me on uh, Twitter. I'm on Twitter. I don't really do. I have a Discord. I could, if people are interested, I have that as well. Um, that's about it. I don't really do Facebook. I never really liked that platform very much. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go into League Play. I'll let the computer teams play a few games. I'll let the lovely ladies play against the Warriors here as the home team. And we'll just simulate this. Do you want to watch? I could watch the game play out. I don't want to. It would take way too long. And the Brave Warriors beat the lovely ladies 8-5. to five. And you can see the difference. It there. You don't see what the computer team wins because they don't power up their teams. Their teams are going to stay the way they are. But you can see all the little characters there in the stands for the lovely the lovely ladies. And they had a an attendance of 40,000. Our attendance was only 7,000 for our team. So that gives you an idea how much more money they give you if you beat them. So uh, now we'll let the Dreams take on the Black Sox, and I, you know, the Dreams are going to crush them. Yep, 12 to 2 slaughter roll. The Dreams are just so powerful. Just about everybody on their team in their lineup can hit a home run, and you can see the attendance for that game was 35,000 because the Dreams are a very popular team. And now we'll go in and we'll play a second. Let's look at the standings. I'll show you what they track in this game. So there's the schedule, and they show you the um, 101 matchups. You see the standings in the win loss column. So you can see I'm tied with two other teams, the Warriors and the Dreams. They keep a tr track of batting averages for the top 10, home runs, runs batted in, ERA for the pitchers, wins, and saves. They don't, it's the limitation of the era, they didn't, they don't keep track of doubles, triples, stolen bases, that kind of thing, um, complete game, shutouts, all that kind of stuff. It was limited for the time. It's, it, you know, a lot of, a lot of games didn't even track stats. There was Tecmo Baseball, which I don't think did, RBI Baseball, I'm not sure if that one did, I didn't play that one a whole lot myself, I didn't really like the I RBI Baseball series for the Nintendo games. Anyway, I didn't like the player models. And see, that's what I'm talking about with the um, not knowing which defender they're going to give you. I wanted my second baseman. They weren't letting me control the second baseman. Looks like they wanted to say, hey, that's the pitcher or the first baseman's ball. I didn't agree with that. I think my left fielder has this. Yes, they do. My left fielder's pretty good. I just powered her. I should have went to second base to get the double play, but I didn't, because I'm silly. It didn't matter anyway. Two outs. So there's their second pitcher, Nobe, I think is how you pronounce that. I believe it's a Japanese name, so it wouldn't be Nob. Nobe. Out. Here's my third baseman. Pop up, they got that, unless he drops it, which he shouldn't. And the first baseman, back to 500. That's probably not going to stay 500 for very long, and it won't. Right to the first baseman. He didn't even field the ball and didn't have to move. Just right on top of the base. Whoa! Yeah, some of these guys on the Crushers, this SNK Crushers team, is, is oddly constructed. They have... One really good starting pitcher in Shacho, who I faced last game. And the only knock on him is really he doesn't throw all that hard. But he has good curveballs, uh, a good sinker, good stamina, so he can stick around for a lot of pitches. They have a very good closer who throws very hard and is tricky. Other than that, they're pretty terrible. They have... A lot of players with zeros for stats, so you'll have guys like that one, their first baseman, Paul, has no contact ability at all. He's got a zero for contact. I think his power is 12 out of 15, so if he hits the ball, he's going to kill it, but he hardly ever hits the ball. And then he has zero for running and defense, so he is absolutely terrible. And they have a lot of other players like that. Um, Vince... 
their center fielder. I think has 11 speed, but his defense is not that good, and his hitting, I think, is 2 with no power. So, a, and like I say, a lot of their players are that way, or if they are evenly powered up, they're like 4s and 3s. They're not very good, and that's why, as a startup team, they're the team you want to face, go up against, and beat. Now, they're not going to give you a lot of money, because they're not that popular. But I just find it funny that the team named after the company that made the game, SNK, would be a good team. I, you would think they'd be one of the best teams of the game, if not the best, like superpowered you know, SNK crushers. But they're absolutely terrible. They are easily the worst team in the game. And I just find that funny that they did that. Especially with a name like the Crushers. <laughs> you wouldn't think, uh, Crushers, no, they're terrible. That should be my second baseman. And I said earlier, ev every team in this game that the computer made has a theme behind it. The SNK Crushers, obviously, named after the company. Their players are named after the, you know, programmers of the game and other things like that. The lovely ladies are all ladies. I don't know where they got the ladies' names from, if they're just generic, or maybe they were from some female baseball teams, because, you know, there was a, a ladies' professional league of baseball. I don't know if they... The names don't seem familiar to me, or maybe they're named after movie stars or things like that, because they have names like Grace. Maybe that's... Um, I don't know. Grace Kelly. There's a team called the Ghastly Monsters, which you won't see in this series, but they're named after, like, one one guy's name is Cerber, that's short for Cerberus, the three-headed dog. Uh, Jason, you know, from the from the movies. Freddy, you know, Freddy Krueger. Cyclops, you know, Cyclops. Medusa. Jekyll, you know, Jekyll and Hyde. There's the uh, Japan Robins. They're named after J Japanese baseball players. The World Powers. Um, named after some philosophers. There's Socrates, Plato, <laughs> Zeus. You know, Greek mythology. Just brave warriors. They have guys um, named after famous warriors like Genghis Khan. Oops, I thought that was two outs. But, I got some runs on the board now, so I have the lead, and I always feel better playing with a lead. I should be able to secure a victory here unless I just get careless with pitching, or sometimes I just get lucky. You never know. Ooh, we struck him out. Ha ha ha. third base, and he makes the throw across the diamond, and then the first baseman just throws it into the stands for no apparent reason. That's just something I like to do. A lot of people do that in this game I've seen. Uh-oh, he got a hold of one. Is that a home run ball? It is, and I'm... See, I tried to... I wouldn't have caught that anyway if I had lined that up perfectly, but if you miss a home run, sometimes your uh, fielder will just hang on the wall. Other times they'll fall over the wall like that. I think that's a neat little animation that they have. So, yeah, um, that was, was that Paul, I think, that got a hold of that one for the 12 power? So, yeah, he can kill the ball if he hits it, and he just got a pitch that he liked, and boom, he killed it. Uh-oh. I don't think my right fielder can get there. He can't dive. Ooh, that would have stayed fair. That might have been another home run. Who knows? Come inside again, got him. But they claw back a run, so now the, my lead isn't quite as safe. I need to get more than one run lead. Well, that's a nice hit, but that's going to be caught by the outflipper, I'm sure. Yeah. Right to him. No way. Up the middle not through. Didn't get lucky on that one. Good play by their second baseman. 
And right to the second baseman again. I got a love affair with their second baseman, apparently. Pardon me while I grab a sip of tea. I'm feeling a little under the weather. I was going to stream last night at 8 o'clock, but unfortunately, uh, right around dinner time, I was sitting down and I was like, boy, do I really feel not so wonderful right now. I didn't know what was going on. I just felt really tired and worn out. Then all of a sudden, my sinuses started acting up. Uh, I'm really getting, uh, you know, feeling the burning sensation and stuffy. And I'm like, I know what this is. It's it's a sinus cold coming on, and it is winter here where I am. And the temperature has been really cold. Um, snow, lots of snow recently. We might even get some more today or tomorrow. That's kind of par for the course where I live. And will I be... Ew! Wow! Whoops. I think I'm running. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little gameplay glitch here. You see how they just keep playing? He's gonna overthrow the field. That's that's one of the generic game game cheats you can do against this uh, AI against poorer defenders. Better defenders won't make that that error. Some people think the luck the luck score of skill that you can power up has something that lucky players don't make that play. Hmm. Looks like this player's named Left Foot. <laughs> Which, kind of fitting. Oh man, boy was I bad on that one. I know she's not all that powered up, but I didn't even make contact with her. I'm just not timing it. I don't know if my pitcher's fast enough. Wow, I got a fast pitcher. See if they can steal a base here. Oh, nope. Okay. Just pushed it too far. Oh, well. Sometimes it's, you know, risk-reward. Wouldn't have mattered anyway. Pop up to the pitcher. Can't win them all. Too much work stuff. No problem. First baseman turns up. My first baseman I made sure was halfway decent. Uh, average score in this game for a stat, obviously, um, if 15 is the max, you know, any somewhere between 7 and 8 would be an average score. And a 7, a 7 defense, a 6 defense at first base would be fine. They don't need to be the rangiest person in the world. They just need to be able to move a little bit to get the ground balls hit to them in their general area. So if you had a zero, a one, or a two over there, that would be a problem. Plus, they wouldn't be able to throw the ball. And will it get over the second... Nope. <laughs> second baseman. Of course, that was a shortstop in that case, covering second base. Didn't have to move. There we go. Clean hit there. It. Yeah, I don't think that guy's got enough speed to steal, but hit and run might work, but not if I pop the ball up. And quiet. Yeah, I, could, I, I don't want to cheese him again. I probably could have, but I won't. I want to try to win as legitimately as possible. Oh, I thought he was going to catch that. And it gets by the outfielder, too. That's going to be some run. Least one. I don't think. Yeah, the guy running around, running to third base is not fast. He won't make that. But another run. We won the first game by a slaughter rule. I don't think. I don't think this one's gonna get there. It's a sixth inning. I'm not as having. I'm not having as good of success on hitting off their pitchers this time around because I keep swinging at garbage. That doesn't help anything. Oh, good grief. I shouldn't have swung at that. And yes, your pitchers can get tired in this game. Oops, I thought my shortstop was going to get that. Oh well, infield single. Um, you'll notice that when they get tired, and it was Paul with a home run earlier, as I suspected. Double play. Double play, there we go. Twin killing. 
And what happens when your pitchers get tired is their speed will drop. They won't be able to throw their fastballs as fast. They'll lose... That's a really good hit. Solid contact. Um, their curveballs will not curve anymore. So you won't be able to move the ball, you know, out of the strike zone or, you know, get some spin on it, maybe have them hit a bad hit. <clears throat> if they have a high enough of a drop score, that would be their sinker pitch. They won't be able to drop, you know, sink the ball anymore, so you'll just throw this really soft pitch right down the middle of the plate that, uh, you know, easy home run time. Or, you know, at least they're gonna really square up that ball. Because there's nothing on it. I took a pitch. Wow. Hooray for me. Oh, good grief. And then I do that. There we go. Will it get by? It got by! Nice. They're gonna go for the play at second. Not a bad idea. But, she's fast enough now. Steal base. There we go. And your pitcher, no designated hitter in this game. So the pitchers hit. So you do have to power up that side, and the game does account for that by giving them a, a pitching stat side. Oh, ground ball. Oops, I don't want to do that. They have a, a pitching side and, and a C, I'll show you after the game, a C other ability side, which is their hitting side. So they'll have their own hitting, batting. Running and defensive scores. Oh my gosh, I should have killed that ball, but I swung a little too early. Got me on the change up. Good grief. There are three batting stances in this game. This is the hunched over, sort of the. If anybody remembers Ricky Henderson. He used to bat this way at, at a point in his career. Um, I think fairly early on he used to use this stance to try to, you know, get more walks to shrink that strike zone, and it worked. He did, uh, he did walk a lot. He also stole a ton of bases. Ricky Henderson was an amazing athlete, an amazing player. Um, over a hundred stolen bases in a season would steal third base a lot. Um, just... And he could hit for power. I mean, Ricky Henderson, I, 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 you're not going to see, at least in, I think, any time in modern baseball, a guy stealing 11, uh, over 100 bases anymore. It just doesn't happen, because they don't, they think it's too risky now to steal bases. They don't think the risk of losing a base runner is worth the reward of, you know, getting a guy possibly in the scoring position. And it, to me, that's really taken an element out of the baseball game. I, I mean, you have a guy with except, uh, exceptional speed, and you don't use it. I can understand it to to a degree. Um, that Moneyball era, there was a movie made about that, where they stress, you know, the most important thing for any baseball player as a hitter is to be on base, because if you're not on base, you can't score runs. Well, that makes sense. But, uh, you know, removing the speed element of the game, I, I, you know, I like it. I, I like stolen bases, but, you know, there were only a few guys in the game of baseball that would steal 100 bases a game, at least in, you know, the modern era. There was um, Tim, Tim Raines, who's also known as Rock Raines, um, Vince Coleman, Ricky Henderson was another one. Stolen base leader. And we're not going to see that anymore. Um, I know some guys in recent recent years, you know, there were some with 50 in the 50s. But that's about as high as you get. It's just not, not part of the game anymore. It's all about, you know, getting on base and hitting home runs now. Good grief. I can't hit. Center fielder Vince was there to back it up. If my pitcher gets up this inning, I'm going to pull him for a pinch hitter because 
A pitcher can't hit all that well anyway, and he's tired, so he wouldn't last another inning or two. And, uh, I don't think I'm going to get five runs to end this early in a slaughter roll, so I think this one's gonna go nine innings. We're already in the eighth. Bottom of the eighth. Got a full count now. Stop swinging at some garbage. So I worked the count full. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna come to me? No, he didn't. I could have gotten a walk, but I swung at a bad pitch. Oh! Hmm. It might have been trouble anyway if it had stayed fair. That is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So my pitcher's up next. I'm gonna take the pitcher out regardless. Floater doesn't matter. Two outs. All right, six to one. Not a save situation, but my pitcher is tired, and this is my best relief pitcher anyway. I only need one more inning, so let's go with my best guy. And I don't know if my first baseman can get in there. Oh wow! <laughs> Just managed to get there at the last second. One thing I didn't have him brought up yet is you hear the tone of a ball when it's hit up in the air, the boo. Well, I thought that was a nice touch because you can see the, the game doesn't track the ball all the way in the air. You can't tell how high it is when it goes off screen. Well, that sound indicates how high the ball is. Uh, the higher the pitch, the higher the ball is in the air. The lower the pitch, the lower the ball, you know, it's coming down. So that gives you an audio clue as to where the ball is going to be, where to position your player. I just thought that was a, a great addition. Because if it was just a visual clue, you'd be like, well, where, where's the shadow of the ball? Where do I go? So you see Paul hit the only home run of the game. He won 6-1. It went full game. No save because I was, you know, one inning I was up more than three runs. So. And, again, not a lot of money. <laughs> Nobody likes the Crushers, nobody likes my team, apparently. So I got another 26,000. I think I want to try to get some home run power on my team. This guy's got 6, 16, 16, so either way... Hmm. I think I'll go with this player here. It's bulk of my money. And normally I would go... I would give him one prestige, but I really want that power all the way up to 10. A 10 would be a decent home run hitter. It's not gonna... It's not gonna be fairly often. And I said I would show you something. So here are the pitching stats for the pitcher side. And I told you, you know, there's no designated hitter, so pitchers have to hit. I go to see other abilities, and they're his batting side. So I got a really good defensive pitcher on this guy who can't really hit. And then the second pitcher, he was the one who pitched last game. And that's the same thing. Can't hit at all. Can't really run that great. And, you know, okay defense. So, you know, um, a poor defensive pitcher, when a ball's hit back up the middle, it might go right by them or right through them. Um, a pop-up that's hit to them, they might not even get to it. Or if they do get to it and your guy has a zero defense, he might just drop the ball even though he's right there to make the play. So, like, uh, let's take a look at my other pitchers. Yeah nothing much doing here. I didn't think there would be. Okay, so how much money do I have? I got 10. 10k. Is that good enough to power up anybody? Second baseman. Catcher. Power up some of the players, but that's not very important. Now, the Let's Play Challenge uh, says, or the challenge, it's not really a Let's Play Challenge in, in, on Game Facts, it's just a general challenge. To make a team of all 84 players that you can hire as rookies, I'm not going to do that part. I'm going to just take the team as is and try to win with them because you know, the, game, the teams in this game don't have superstars at every single position. They're not all, you know, 90-rated players. I don't want to kind of treat, keep this kind of realistic and just work with what I've got. I have some really good players anyway. 
um, just bring this up real quick, this 84 overall, I could make a 90. And the way I do that, with a pitcher anyway, is that their prestige skill is shared between the two stats. So what I could do, if I wanted to do that, is completely max out his 84 on his pitching side and leave the last bit in prestige that's not powered up and then come over to his batting side and power up that prestige after that. And it would add on over to his pitching side and make him a 90. So he could be a perfect player. Um, 79 might be able to do it with him as well. I think so. Uh, 63 is a good play. You can make, I mean, you can make a really good player with a 63 overall. 51, that's going to be... He's going to be a specialist of some kind. And right now, that's my second baseman, and it's going to be defense. 75 will be a very good player. 83, 82, so there's some really good players here, and then some not-so-great ones. But that's generally how it is with most baseball teams. Um, let's take a look at the Crushers, since I'm playing them, to give you an idea how bad they are. So here's their starting pitcher, Shacho, who's a 58, but he's pretty good. Good stamina, the speed isn't very good, which is what I n mentioned before. Good curveball, you know, 6 not so great on the right curve, but the left curve is good. Decent drop, and he's very popular. He can't hit at all. Nobe is their second pitcher, he's not very good. Uh, Ikawa, not very good. Hama, well, Hama's actually pretty decent. Good curveballs. That's it. And there's Kono, their closer, who doesn't have much stamina, but closers usually don't. They only come in for an inning, or maybe to face one or two batters in a really critical position of a game. And he's very good, actually. Their center fielder, Vince. You know, four hitting, one batting, speed, and some defense. That's it. Manny, I think that's their second baseman. He's got some speed, but that's about it, really. Jab is their... One of their outfielders, I believe. 5-4, five, 5-4, four, five, four. not so great. There's Paul, the first baseman I told you about. 12 batting, 2 running, and, and nothing else. That's it. 14 points. Neil, 2-7 and seven and nothing. KGB, 4-0-7-6. June, 2-3-8-6. Tommy, the catcher, 2-8. No, no running. 2 defense. Very lucky player. And that plate, see, luck plays a key for him because eight power is not that much to be hitting home runs. But every once in a while, he'll get into one and just kill it. There's Ed, a pinch hitter. All he can do is hit. Taro, they use him a lot. Three, five, four, four. Glenn, zero, eight. So he, he's a luckier version and a worse version of Paul. Jeff, eight hitting and nothing. Tyrone. Four, three, five. So you can see, not a very good team, but let's go and take a look at the lovely ladies who I'll be playing next. And you can see, look at that. Very good pitcher in Liam. Amy, pretty good pitcher. There's Grace. Not, yeah, you know, throws real hard, but no curveballs. Juana. Kelly, their closer. Gina. Linda, not so good, but very popular. Cheryl, pretty decent hitter. Chris, Dania, Susan, Emma, Paul. Really good defense, but that's it. <laughs> Real good prestige. You're going to notice that a lot of prestige. 0-12, 7-13, 3-7, 4-7. Ten prestige, nine prestige, pretty good player there. Fifteen and ten. So they're a little bit better than the crushers, but what really makes a difference is Leon Leon's tough. She uses that curveball quite a bit. Amy's a little bit easier to hit off of. And and some other players can actually, you know, play defense a little bit and and hit um and run. What's really gonna start uh, bothering me after that is the next team after that, the Brave Warriors, Thomas, Calvin, Grover Cleveland, Billy, Benji, I think that's supposed to be Benjamin Franklin, Abe, Abe Lincoln, George Washington, Wendell, Roger, John, 
Jones. Nathan. So you can see, much better team. Much better numbers hitting defensively. Decent pitchers. So this team is going to be where the rubber beats the road, as they say, Orson. Orson Wells. Andrew Jackson, maybe. Chuck. Chuck Heston? I don't know. Um, we'll see the Ninja Black Sox. Sasuke. Saizo. I could be saying these names wrong. Hachi. Hachi Roku. Hachi is the Japanese word for eight, I believe, and Roku is six. And the only reason why I know that is that stands for eight six, which is the uh, the nickname for a car called the Toyota Corolla SR5, which Toyota made uh, a hot hatchback back in the day. I think it was an you know, late '80s car, and there was a series called Initial D, where that car was the uh, they call it in Japan the GT Torino Apex. Not a Toyota Corolla. And it was like a, a supercar in that game. Or that sh that show, rather. And in, in Japan they call it the Hachi Raku. I could be completely wrong about that. Benkei. Inuma. Jayube. Bomb 10. Kotaro. Jippo. <laughs> what a name. I have to assume that some of these are shortened. Geomon. Honda. Well, we know what Honda is. Oboro. And this is the American Dreams team, which will be the best team I think. Sandy Koufax. Cy. Cy Young. Denny. I'm... I'm not sure. Maybe Dennis Martinez? I'm not sure. Dizzy D. Frank? I'm not sure who Frank would be in baseball terms. I'd have to think of that. Who, who a Frank would be as a closer. Not sure. Pete? Pete Rose? Babe? Obviously, I think everybody knows who Babe is supposed to be referred to. Babe Ruth. Joe? Hank, Hank Aaron, Lefty, um, Lefty, I know there was a Lefty Grove, but he was a pitcher, I'm not sure, I'd have to look and find out who that's referring to, Willie, Willie Mays, although, eh, Willie, Willie Mays, could, that might be Willie Stargell, who was known as a very good power-hitting first baseman. I don't think that's Willie Mays. Jay, I used to know who that was supposed to refer to, but now I don't. Jax would be Jackson. The only one I'm, that's coming to mind is Shoeless Joe Jackson, but he, that doesn't... He doesn't play that position. I think that's their shortstop. Lou would be Lou Gehrig. Johnny, Johnny Bench, the catcher. Eddie, I'm not sure. Eddie Matthews, maybe. Really good third baseman. Billy, I don't... And these guys, I don't know who this would refer to. Billy Martin, I don't know. Paul, I don't know who this would be. Really fat. Uh, Paul Blair, maybe. Paul Blair used to play for the Orioles and I think the Yankees way back in the 50s and 60s. Really fast, really, really good outfielder. Not known for his hitting. Um, he did have one really good season as a hitter and then he got beamed in the head in a pit by a pitch and he was never the same after that. Was n never a very good hitter after that. So maybe that's this is supposed to be Paul Blair. But anyway... I'll show you the Ghastly Monsters. I talked about them a little earlier. Cyclop, Lenny. I'm not sure who Lenny is supposed to be as a monster. If anybody knows. Obviously Medusa, Jekyll, Jekyll and Hyde, Norman, Norman Bates. Zombie, well, we know what a zombie is. Mummy, we know what a man mummy is. Freddy, Freddy Krueger. Damien, Damien the Omen. Jason. Cerberus, Cerber, Alien, Bella, Bella Lugosi, who was a 
really old-time uh, horror movie actor, played played a lot of monster Frankenstein. He played like the like the iconic classic Frankenstein, Wolfman, and Dracula's. And he did his own makeup back then. They didn't, you know, they do CGI and stuff now, and now they have makeup artists. But he did his own makeup. Boris. Lurch. Rang. Hacker. <laughs> just a generic name. Creepy. And then Eric. <laughs> I just like, I don't know who this Eric is supposed to refer to as a monster or creepy person. Eric. I don't know of any Eric horror actors. Or maybe it's just, you know, just trying to be funny. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. I want to thank you for joining me. We went 2-0. Uh, won a little bit of money, powered up our team, and we're just gonna keep continuing this. And uh, I'll come back maybe live tomorrow or sometime soon. I might come back later today with some Madden content because I have some housekeeping to do. Actually, no, I have a Pro Bowl game to play, so that's not going to happen on, on live here. But there'll be um, some off-season moves coming up soon, so maybe maybe that'll happen tomorrow, because I'll be playing the game and commenting on it today, and that's going to probably trash my voice for the rest of the day. So, I want to say thank you, everybody. Thank you for the new follow. Thank you, viewers, for joining me. And you all take care now, and have a nice day. We'll see you next time here on Ben's Corner. Be well, everybody. Thanks for joining me.